Hello friends, welcome to Java AWT tutorial. Now you are watching part 4 of uh, drawing with uh, AWT. In the last uh, few videos we saw how to perform line drawing and how to perform rectangle drawing. Now here in this video we will see how to perform freehand drawing using mouse and AWT graphics. So now you are at part 4 to perform freehand drawing. So to perform freehand drawing, we need all three events from mouse. So we will use mouse pressed So here we will store point one. We need mouse dragged we need mouse released as well so the mouse dragged will play major part here so freehand drawing it should we should draw it continuously say for example the user is drawing uh, English character C. So let us take a specific part. Let's just take this part and you will see something like this, a line like this. And let us take a three point here. Let's say the mouse is dragged in this direction by the user and we know that mouse drag will produce the event continuously and we will consider it produced three events. Remember we are just taking some part of the English letter C. The user is actually dragging their mouse in this direction to draw the letter C and here we have a zoomed version here. If you see here it produces uh, multiple events so likewise there will be multiple mouse dragged event so what we will do um, we will perform drawing between these uh, lines let me put uh, one more here so what happens Let's say that this one is a PT1 and this one is a PT2. And we will assume that this line was already done in our previous uh, mouse move, mouse drag. Now let's consider that. the user dragged their mouse they came up to here and let's say that uh, event is produced so at this stage if you see we want to draw a line from here to here this two point so but previously this was a pt2 so this is the line which was drawn during the previous mouse drag. So the event may be produced here. We drawn PT1 to P2. Now the mouse drag produced one more event E1 at this stage. Now let's see what action we will take. So 
ultimately our paint method knows how to draw a line between pt1 and pt2 and if you see here the pt1 we can get from our previous uh, uh, draw line so we will move our pt2 as pt1 next if you see here is the e this e we will assign it to pt2 So now PT1, P22 is restored and when we make a call to paint, it will perform the drawing as shown here in red color. Now let us consider user is further moving the mouse, uh, I mean dragging the mouse. So when they drag, at this stage they will get one more event, mouse event. So now the process continues. So what we have to do? This will be our PT2 and this should be our PT1. So what we have to do, we have to move PT2 to PT1. Then E we should move to PT2. So PT1 and PT2 is now available to graphics. So this will perform a drawing between PT1 and PT2. So if you see how we continuously perform drawing. So the important point what you have to note here is previously we called repaint method. So this repaint method will erase all the content. I mean all the foreground content that means the line which was drawn in a previous drag will get erased so we should not use a repaint method so what we have to use this time is uh, we have to directly call our uh, paint method so for the paint method we need to send graphics right so it uh, it looks for graphics so what we have to do we have to call get graphics method so this get graphics method will return uh, the graphic object g which we can pass it to the paint method now let us see how this works So here is our uh, paint method. In the paint method, we already did line drawing and rectangle drawing. Now we have to perform a freehand drawing. And if you see, there is uh, not much difference for uh, freehand drawing. And if you see, it's almost same. Not almost exactly same. G dot draw line. But anyhow, we have it as a one more case statement at this stage both are same so we can even combine these two case statement but in feature if we want to perform a freehand drawing differently then we need a separate case statement like this so this is our first code change next in the freehand drawing we will receive mouse event when uh, uh, the mouse is dragged so for example um, freehand drawing means a user will hold down press down their mouse button then they will move in whatever direction they want so 
you are seeing the cursor here right so wherever the cursor goes there we want to perform a drawing so that's what called a freehand drawing so the mouse move or the mouse drag uh, here since we are pressing the mouse button and moving it it is a mouse dragged so we need to use mouse dragged so previously we are using mouse pressed and mouse released to perform a line and a rectangle drawing now we need to uh, use mouse dragged so here is the function mouse dragged so this is what we need to use so to use this mouse dragged first we need to register our frame window so we already registered with mouse listener so we need to register mouse motion listener now because we need to drag we need to track the drag event and and because of that we are adding mouse motion listener here so now our frame window is registered with uh, mouse motion listener it's time to implement the mouse drag so before that we will go to this mouse released and if you see here in the mouse released if you are performing the repaint so for line and rectangle drawing it will be okay to perform repaint why because we want to perform drawing between two point that means p1 and p2 but here we are connecting the p1 and p2 uh, in multiple successions so we don't want to erase the foreground whatever is drawn so far because of that free free hand movement so we need to introduce a condition so when mouse released we are not calling the repaint that means uh, we will draw everything during the mouse drag of course uh, when mouse is released we will not uh, get that last point but that's okay so for readability purpose i am just adding this command here so this code was previously there to set the second point for our line and rectangle drawing this was explained in our previous parts now we are introducing the condition and we are checking mode should not be freehand drawing so if that is the case then we are releasing the mouse to draw line or rectangle so only during that condition we perform this for freehand drawing we want to do repaint so then all the work goes here in the mouse dragged now we will perform our freehand drawing here in the mouse dragged so as already explained in the slide so first you can see that we are checking the condition we are making sure make we are making sure that the draw mode is a free hand so if that is the case then we are performing the operation so the first thing what we are doing is we are checking that second point dot x should not be zero so this is because everywhere if you see uh, we are setting the location as a zero so that's the reset point even in the mouse release of mouse pressed also we are doing it as a location as a zero zero so what happens in a freehand drawing if we won't perform that specific condition every time you perform drawing it will take the first point from origin and it starts from here suppose if a user want to perform uh, something like c let's take this one is origin 
and if they want to perform SRI, the starting point is connected to the origin. To avoid that, we are checking this condition. And if this x is not equal, x and y coordinate is not origin, then we store our second point. So this is where we are actually moving the second point to first point. Why? Because in the mouse drag, it is the event will be produced continuously. So we push our second point to first point, then we take second point from this mouse event. So let me explain like this. Um, the second point or this current mouse drag, the second point becomes a first point. So that's why we are assigning second point to first point. And first first point will be discarded why because that is from the previous drag so first point and second point was connected in the previous drag for the current drag we need to consider second point as a first point that's why we are assigning second point to first point then whatever is the mouse event is giving to us why because mouse is drag dragged like this right so here point is line is drawn then user further moving now the line should be connected from here to here so let me go to paint brush for a easy explanation so let's say this is how i am drawing so this is from previous drag p1 p2 this is from current drag so this was previously pt2 Now, the mouse event, what we got is here. So, for this present mouse drag, we need to consider this as PT1 and E as PT2. So, that means we need to assign PT2 to P1 from our previous drag and assign PT2 with E. So, that's what we are doing here. Second point we are moving to first point, then second point we are setting it from the mouse event. So this drag will be produced continuously, that's why we are doing it like this. And then if you see here, we are not making call to repaint. So we are calling the paint method, then graphics we are taking it from get graphics. So the get, get graphics is called from our AWT frame window. So that will return the graphics object attached to uh, the frame window. So once we call paint with the graphics object G, it will call our paint method. So we already overridden this. So the repaint we already know. Here we are making call to repaint. So you have to know the difference. Repaint will erase all the foreground and performs everything new for line and rectangle we have to draw only one segment that means draw line means between point one and two point two so that's done rectangle means from top left width and height the rect is done but for freehand drawing we need all the point or all the mouse event that got produced during the drag so that means there will be multiple line segments so all needs to be preserved so that's why we are making call to paint so this will not erase the background but makes call to paint when we come to paint it is similar uh, so just performs a drawing based on first and second point so that's why here in the drag itself we make necessary arrangement uh, uh, by assigning the second point to first point and uh, setting the second point with the mouse event. Let me repeat it again. Uh, here we make the necessary arrangement because we know that paint method will connect point one and point two. So for this present mouse drag, we need to discard the first point and so that means whatever is stored in first point that will get discarded 
but we push whatever is there in second point to the first point then second point we are taking it from the mouse event using the get x and y coordinate get x and get y all right now we will run this so draw line we saw in one of our uh, previous video rect also we draw previously now it's time to perform freehand right so if you see i can perform that c here so this will be produced continuously so this is the use of a freehand and if you see this will produce a multiple event during the drag so i tried with a plus b whole square all right so this is what called freehand drawing so now we have all three drawing option performed uh, in the next video we will look at uh, rubber banding so now I hope you got an idea of how this is uh, performed PT1 PT1 PT2 how we are pushing it you already saw and this is how we performed our uh, drawing continuously so to perform a character so I'm just uh, marking here but there will be more than uh, more than what you saw here so the mouse view drag will be produced at multiple points so we performed so it's actually a line drawing only but when we perform the freehand you may not be able to see that these lines are connected because they are very close to each other because uh, the mouse drag will be produced in a tight manner all right um, that's all here in this video. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.